All right, hello, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Now, you see, we've played this game almost two hours, and, um, like I said, we all's well as ends well. We all live happily ever after. Let's just escort the princess home. Um, once I cross the forest, I'll be right back. Or not, I'll just leave that in again. I'm surprised I missed all the monsters. Well, I mean, all you gotta do is just take her home and game over. Welcome, Princess Nadia. Are you alright? Where on earth have you been? We heard you were abducted. Say what? We had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. Hmm. You back there. You're the one, are you? Thought you kidnapped the princess? No! No, of course not. Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted overthrow the crown. No, you mustn't! Crap. Okay, I guess this isn't happily ever after. Okay, well, she's winning the day right now. What are you fools doing? Her well, Highness said... Doesn't matter what she said, seize him! Crap. Here's that new criminal justice system that was implemented 400 years ago thanks to Chrono. So we did change something in history. Alright, we gotta keep playing the game, I suppose. I, your Chancellor, shall serve as Prosecutor. And I, the Frenchman Pierre, shall represent the defense. Or the Canadian, whatever. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler? Or hang upside down? Well, or shall we employ the guillotine? The choice is yours, good jurors. Now let us begin. Or was he actually innocent? We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Now, everything you did in the Millennial Fair, um, has a consequence, even though you're just having some fun. So he is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how can he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the, the princess. However, the truth is, not only was there meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. This is very true. Is this true? Now, I did initiate contact, I think. But uh, we, it was kind of 50 50 if you ask me. The defendant deliberately approached the princess, pretending it was an accident. Not really, but. It's more 50 50 if you ask me. Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. I didn't coerce her to nothing! Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that's not criminal deduction, I don't know what is! Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call forth the defendant's character into question. OBJECTION! This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Can I respond, Chancellor? Well, this character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. The evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. 
I'd like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. Remember this little girl? You return her kitty to her. Yeah. See, everything you did there, you could have eaten that man's lunch, and that would have been a negative point. This is a positive point. Yay. I mean, you could have s stolen her pendant, could have sold it to Milky, or remember we had all those choices. But we decided to be a good little boy, and that's going to pay off for us. Ooh, looks like they're buying it. But I got nothing to hide. I'm not guilty of anything. The real issue here is motive. Is there any motive for this good youth to kidnap the princess? Not a thing. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite quite clear. Greed. Her fortune did tempt you. Of course not. No. I mean, I could have sold the pendant to Melchior, made a crap ton of money. What? Uh oh. What did I do wrong? Oh, I guess that's true. I did, but I gave it right back to her. Okay. I, I guess I need to speak to her first. Alright, so guilty verdicts to the left, innocence to the right. Yay. The crowd doesn't like not guilty verdicts. They want to show folks. They're booing at me. I get three boos. Oh, well, they're happy about that one. Yay. I had the Russian judge on the left there. Oh yeah, I'm in the clear, folks. Six to one? Order in the court! Verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. Okay, so can, can, I, can I go home and and happily live happily ever after? But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided her fight flight rather from the castle. Sentence the accused. Of, I didn't aid her. She left the castle before she met him. Take him away. Princess Nadia! That's quite enough, young lady. But father! All I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done, and even royalty must obey the laws of this land. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here. She's going to be saying that a lot throughout this game, folks. Okay. This is a long walk, ain't it? This man is a seditionist? Whatever that means. Did I seduce her, I suppose? Who meant to overthrow our kingdom? He has been found guilty by trial. No, I wasn't. Trust me to your care. So this is the monster who abducted the princess. His execution. What? Solitary confinement, you bastard. I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern. It's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? Yes, I question you, you bastard. Never, sir. 
Wonder what this uh, Chancellor has against Chrono anyway. We'll find out much later in the game, folks. Take the prisoner away. Already knocked me out. Oh. So I could do one of three things. Or two things, rather. All right, well, I'll take that. I get three ethers, I'll take that. And I still have all my items. Still have all my equipment. Okay, so you can either wait in here for three days, or you could bust out now. I choose to bust out now, folks. Pipe down, you. Pipe down, you. Oh, how many times do I have to tell him that? Filthy. If you won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open the door. Ah, oh, that's what you get for not doing what you're told. But I still have my weapons on me. Ha 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 ha. Where do you think you're... Oh, I'm gonna kick his butt. Alright. 10 experience points, 70 cheese, and a potion. Alright now. Ooh, I see treasure. I can't get through and I can't dive or nothing. Well, that's a bummer. All right, now, if you'd have waited the three days, which you could have done, was the other option. Excuse me. Um, they would have taken you to the guillotine and Luca would have rescued you. So the only benefit to that is that you'll have her to help you. But if you do this method, you get free HP MP restoration. Now, we can fight these guys if we wanted to. I'm not going to do that just yet. To be honest with you, I don't really remember where to go, to be honest. Okay, now we can sneak up behind them. Oh, crap. I did the wrong thing. Alright. So we can either kill them outright, or we can... Sometimes they'll give us um, free, better items. Ether, mid potion, nice. Mid potion, and an ether, nice. All right. Oh crap! Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, yes, I did. I'm gonna kick your butt. Get a crit on you and still didn't kill him. 172? Crap. Oh, he missed! And that's uh, 227. You're dead. Or 229, rather. They don't pay me enough for this. I'm out of here. Alright. Now we'll fight these guys. You could, don't have to fight them. You can just go right between them. But I'm going to fight them anyway. Do not... You can only attack them when they're turned at an angle. Because if you attack them when they're facing the front, you cannot damage it. I don't know if I'm supposed to go right or left. Let's go right. Crap. Alright, that wasn't too bad. 13 damage, how dare you!
again. If you sneak up behind him, you get a better item. It's time to get a mid potion. If you would have beaten him up the normal way, you would have only gotten a um a regular potion. All right, can I open that door? Looks like I cannot. Should be able to, though. Oh, I can't open that door. Maybe I should have killed him. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. I'll... All right. We can open the door now. And who's this? Yes! Thank you, that was close. I'm Fritz. My father runs the market in True. Stop by if you're ever in the area. Now remember... <coughs> excuse me, folks. <clears throat> like in that first intro episode that I did, there was a lady named Elaine who, um, who said her brother uh had gone missing well this is her brother now you're gonna get major discounts at her shop or at their shop and get another mid potion and you get a bronze armor I th oh snap we're gonna fight these guys All right, you're dead. Yay. Can we use this whip? Ah, uh, not quite. That would have been nice. Is there anything in these coffins? Or whatever the, those things are called. Nope. Now, I think we could go this way, but I think that's the way for progress. I think. So let's check out this upper left one first. We already killed those guys. Yeah, that way is for progress. And, um, oh. Get to fight a spirit. Who goes into the skeleton? Reminds me a little bit about that... Um, boss and Terra Enigma. You're dead, yay. Want that treasure. Crap, not getting that treasure. But if you notice, there's a hole in the wall we should be able to get there. Alright, now we'll go and make progress this way. All right. Oh, we got to fight these guys again. Yeah, I'll kill them. I already got the mid, t mid potion from you. In the Super Nintendo version, they're called tonics. In this version of the game, they're called potions. Yeah, we don't need to go there. Let's... Yeah, I'm going to kick his butt. Easy one shot. 10 experience, 70 G. I like said we knocked him out. We could have got a mid potion, but that's okay. We can buy a mid potion, so that's not a problem, folks. We get to fight these guys again. Let's fight them because I want to. All right, you're dead. I don't know if I need to go to bottom left, bottom, or top right, or top left. Let's just explore, because I really don't know, to be honest with you. Oh, I see treasure. We get a shelter for our troubles. 
Oh. Crap. We can't go do anything. Okay. That's the bottom left. Let's go to the top right. No way, I think that's the way out of here. So let's go top left. Oh, oh look. This is the one where you have the hole in the wall. So let's go. You can just climb down. And we get a treasure. Furthermore, we can go down in the sewers. Kind of, sort of, maybe. We get two more treasures. 1,500 Gs and a silver sword. Yeah, you didn't need to buy that silver sword earlier. Oh, I, I can't equip it. Okay, nice. Didn't realize I could. Too bad we can't go out here and, and then go and uh, get our um, HP and MP filled up. That would have been really nice. All right. All right, here we go. Do that. Right between the two, then go up. Oh, crap. Or not. Am I supposed to do that? There we go. Okay, good. Alrighty. Now let's get out of here, shall we? We don't need to fight those guys again. There he is! Get him! Well, we got a cyclone I can, with your name on it, pal. Twenty experience, hundred forty gold. We get a potion, yay! Oh, uh oh, it's the warden. Somebody help! Crap! Oh, it's Luca. Chrono came to rescue you. So you didn't need my help? Of course not. Well, not yet, anyway. Hey, let's go. Classified document. The Dragon Tank Design Specs. Warden of Guardia Castle Prince Prisons. The head of the tank is equipped with the capacity to repair damage to the body. An ingenious marvel of engineering. In other words, attack the head! Head has also been enhanced with a shield to prevent damage by uh, elemental attacks. Okay. Yeah, you just have to blow right through it. So, it's invincible unless somebody hack away its head with a sword. Alright. Got five shelters. And we can get infinite shelters there in, um, 600 AD. Alright, um, you know what? I'm gonna save it just in case. This can be a tough boss. So here we go. What was that? Keep going. Oh no, there's the dragon tank. Let's go after its head. See, it's already repairing damage. Nice. Well, that's not good. Let's see, potion. Let's just keep.
keep his HP up there. All right. 134. Uh, let's get her. Healed up. So yeah, go after the head. So we're doing not quite double damage, but almost. There we go. All right, now it's fair game. Now it's fair game, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna use mid potions. Oh, there goes the uh, wheel. Crap! Mid potion. Proto. Crap. You're dead. Um, Atlantean water. Okay. Mid potion on. Another mid potion on him. Fire Whirl. Yeah, we got him. 40 experience, 500 Gs. I love this animation right here. My dragon tank! Fix it quickly! Or not. Thank you! Appreciate it. I wish I had a jump button. Too bad, so sad. Again, don't get any of these treasures. You're escaping. I want to take a nap. You're escaping. Yeah, let's just go. You're escaping. Crap. I right, go. Stop that right now. Thanks, Marley. You heard him. He was only sentenced to three days solitary confinement. A chance or there's something odd about him. So we'll find out much later. You refuse to obey my orders? No, forgive me, my lady. Hold it right there. I think that's King. No, it's Chancellor. <coughs> On your knees. Grace is Grace. King Guardian of the 33rd comes before you. Silence, Nadia, your duties come before your whims. You are a princess before all else. No, I'm not. I'm a person first. The princess second. All of these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to be having a bad influence on you. It's not influence, it's common sense, you dumbass. Nadia. That's naughty. Uh... I can't live in the stupid castle anymore. I'm leaving. All right. Way to go, Nadia. Come on, let's go, Chrono. And Luca. Don't just stay there after them. Crap. Oh, Nadia. There they are. Don't lose them. There's nowhere left to run. 
Come on, quietly. Get that. Well, there wasn't a gate here before. A gate. Come on, it's anywhere is better than here. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. Princess Nadia. This is totally irrational, you know. Hurry, Chrono! All right, back to Acid Trippy World. They they disappeared into Acid Trippy World. Not for very long this time. Whoa! What on earth is this? Ow! There's no way the Chancellor can get us here. That's true. But where are we? The civilization here seems pretty advanced. It almost looks like we're in another world. Where are we? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger.